A former University of New South Wales student who was falsely accused of terror offences is demanding an inquiry into his ordeal. Mohammed Khmer Nizamdeen was held in solitary confinement for a month. Before it emerged, he was framed by a colleague. Mr Nizamdeen has given his first full interview to Triple J hack reporter Avani Dias. In his hometown of Colombo, Sri Lanka, Mohammed Nizamdeen is far from solitary confinement in one of Australia's high security prisons. He spent a month there wrongly accused of terror offences, including a plot to kill the Prime Minister and bomb the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I still have flashbacks and sometimes the, I still have dreams about it. Mohammed Nizamdeen was arrested in August 2018 after a colleague at the University of New South Wales IT department claimed he found a notebook on his desk with the detailed terror plans. The former international student says he was taken into custody by undercover police while getting lunch at the university. I actually asked, is this a joke? I thought this was a university, like someone was doing a prank on YouTube or something like that. Mr Nizamdeen says he was not allowed to see a lawyer for five days or speak to his family while in jail. I asked for books, obviously, to pass the time, and I, I remember that was the time that I, I think I prayed a lot to God. Uh, I never prayed so much in my life. A month later, the 25-year-old was released and all charges dropped after an expert could not conclusively say it was his handwriting in the notebook and there was no other evidence. In December 2018, Mr Nizamdeen's university colleague, Arsalan Kawaja, was accused of writing the notebook to frame Mr Nizamdeen. Police claimed Kawaja was jealous over Mr Nizamdeen's friendship with a woman and his success at the university. Arsalan Kawaja, who is the brother of Australian cricket star Usman Kawaja, pleaded guilty to the charges last year and is in prison waiting to be sentenced. Everyone was just devastated by this and... Uh... I just hope he gets what he deserves. The ABC has asked both the New South Wales Police and the Australian Federal Police for a statement or an interview, but they've declined, saying the matter is still before the courts. But the police have previously maintained that officers did the right thing by arresting Mr Nizamdeen, saying they have to act quickly on alleged terror threats. Mr Nizamdeen is now suing the Australian Federal Police over the ordeal. Avni Dias, ABC News, Sydney. And you can hear the full interview with Mr Nizamdeen in a special episode of Triple J's Hack podcast. Australia is taking